Seagull here from Seagulls on the Run. It's actually Johnny in case anybody was wondering. Alright, we've got uh, Pajero NX 2018 and we've done a quite a bit of work on it and it's been seen in a couple of videos but today I thought I'd go through and just show you exactly what we've got on this car. So let's start at the front and see here we go. So bull bar, it's an MCC Phoenix bar with a 10,000 pounds don't quote me on that winch which has never seen any uh, action at all just yet however we haven't really taken the car off-road where it'd need it it'll happen in due course we've got a light bar on there from light force UHF radio tires as you can see here we've got geo 15 so the Yokohama Geolanda all terrains they were pretty good, uh, loved them. The most severe they've done is the Flinders Ranges and they came out unscathed, loved them. We tow, so we've got the clear view mirrors. I used to have the clip-ons, but they would vibrate like buggery and it would just be awkward looking behind you. Since I've put these on, it has been absolutely fantastic. Great purchase. Uh, as you can see here, we had to have an, oh, you can't tell at the top. It's a uh, Bush Company 270 XT, uh, awning, freestanding awning. Um, oh, there you go. I told you right up there. Expensive, but man, it is an excellent piece of kit, and you can just freestand like now. It's a little bit breezy, and I'm happy with it. I've got a separate video on that, so I will put a link just to show you a bit more about that. In the car, and you can tell on the back, on the inside, I'll show you that later. We've got solar screens, which means we can't. There's no view out the back of the car. So what I've also installed uh, to help us is a safety dave camera and this projects to a screen in the front uh, which has replaced the rear view mirror with a rear view camera and then up on top here uh, we've got our rhino rack flat platform with the backbone system and on here we've got a k-on uh, max tracks so we've got max tracks and the k-on max tracks deflector goes off at an angle and uh, chucks the wind up and over the caravan. Again, that's another separate video um, to do with the car. So I'll put another link in for that. Let's have a look inside. I've done quite a few mods inside on this car, which probably, well, you can't see them, so I had to point them out. Uh, they're all like electronic stuff hidden underneath. But let's just have a look at some of the stuff we've done. Okay. All right, so. We have removed the two-seater and we've built our own little unit in here. So this stores would still be chainsaw perhaps. As you can see my solar panel and fire pit are in here. This little box here lifts up, it comes out, and that, believe it or not, slots in there. And it creates space for two water jerry cans. So I can put jerry cans in here when we're carrying water. As you can see at the moment, it's just got my maps and my football and then this is a secure one where we can put some items and lock them in the hat racks hat savers and this is why I'm saying you can't actually see out of the back of this car because I've got a K on cargo barrier 
and then we just strap our jackets on the back of here so we can just quickly get them if needs be up front here we've got the super trim neoprene seat covers stock standard um, now little bits of gizmos this is an ultra gauge this is my tire pressure monitor and this is my hummingbird battery monitor so it, it monitors the car battery uh, my dual battery, auxiliary battery in the car, and then my batteries for my caravan. Well, my caravan's not here, so you can't tell that. I've got it on a cool little switch that just switches it off and on there if I want to try and save a bit of power. And this is the safety Dave that looks out the back, and that allows us to see everything that's going on because there's no view that way. What else is happening in here? Nothing much. We do have a torque converter which is this little gadget here, which is from MM 4x4. Uh, cool bit of kit, because when you've got the ultra gauge, you can actually see how the temperature's changed. You switch that off, and you'll have a differential of about 10 degrees temperature uh, on your transmission. Switch that back on, and it brings the transmission temps right down. That UHF is plugged in down here. Sweet. That's the inside of the car pretty much done at the front. I think Mitsubishi's tagline is living out of the back of your car. Well, let me just show you, we pretty much do live out of this car. Okay, I'll just put the lock on, a bit of hill. So we've got our trusty old uh, Dometic fridge. I actually love that fridge and it's been with us. I think it's a 45 litre, it's perfect for us. The draw system here, you'll see, is a drifter system. So a deep one, bit of recovery gear in, it's got my induction cooker in there. And then all our um, cookery crockery is in this one. We do live out the back of this car. Has a table, which is just perfect because I have my induction cooker here, um, in here. We can cook on this prep a few bits and pieces and be all under cover with a 270 because I have tucked in nice and neat down there is a 2000 watt inverter it's iTech world pretty stoked with it it's real good I'm actually really happy with it and our battery management system or our BCDC um, is tucked in there as well I don't know if you can see that it used to be in the engine bay but I brought it all to the back here because the dual battery used to be in the back but I pulled my seats out third row of seats that used to be in there and now I've got my lithium auxiliary battery in here and then tucked in underneath here is my ARB compressor and as you can see right here oops pull the filter cap off put that back on this is where my ARB so I can all my air is here here's an interesting one I could have hardwired it in, but I chose not to because what I've done is I've got an extension lead that comes out through here and just plugs into the Anderson plug. It just saved me from having yet another piece of gear plugged into the car that I couldn't see. So I was happy to just do it that way. It's a manual approach rather than having it all hardwired in. There's your K-on cargo barrier. It's a half one because I used to have my seats in. That there is just a piece of panel board that I built at the same time as building this box to go around the fridge. And whilst looking in the back of here, I'll put a, an LED strip light up there, press on here, and that gives us, what I'm saying, when we're cooking in the dark, it throws a great amount of light out. Real happy with that. That's a little mod I did myself. Oh, I've got to mention that that's a red arc, BCDC 1225D. In addition, we've got the solar screen and I've got the full kit so it goes entirely everywhere around the car. So that if we're in quite hot days, we can actually um, put this in complete solar shade so that the whole car does try and keep as cool as possible. Oh, and you probably noticed as well, when I was in earlier on, I've got my axes here. I think you can't go without a good axe. All right, let's lift the bonnet and see what's going on underneath here. First up, replace the battery for a lithium battery. Saves a heap of weight. I'm talking not a small amount of weight, a massive amount of weight. You know, say it's a 25 kilo battery, that's five kilos. It's at that point we're at. That's where my dual battery used to be. I pulled that out, put it in the boot, 
now I store my um, purple line bottle jack in there. So that's the jack for the car and the caravan. This car has also got the flash lube catch can. I've actually got a separate video on what that can do. What what can a catch can catch? If a catch can can catch, it's called the video. And you should be amazed, you'd be amazed at how much oil it does capture. And because we have a few diesel issues in this country, I put a second or an auxiliary diesel filter in. So we've got the one that comes with the Mitsubishi, but I've put an additional one in here. Cool. And that's pretty much it underneath this engine. Nothing else is going on in here. Just catch can, diesel filter, iTech world and that's about it underneath this car which is pretty hard for me to show you because I'm not crawling around we have had the suspension upgraded to Bilstein I'm showing you but you can't see uh, Bilstein, Bilstein shockers uh, with terrain tamer springs that gave it a little bit of a lift and at the back here you'll see them with valves we've got uh, airbag suspension which helps me coil right uh, level the car if i need to when i've got the caravan on and i'll tell you now i always do it even though it sits nice and steady and nice and level i still put a few psi in there in my mind, I think it just helps the back of the car. It keeps the suspension from uh, stressing out. If you do have any questions about this car and what we've done, by all means, get in touch with us. That's what it's all about. Sharing ideas. You might have something that you think this is missing that it should have. And I'm more than happy to hear from you because, yeah, I want to make it the most reliable and best traveling rig there is out so that wraps it up that is our Giro NX it is um, a neat looking car we love it uh, we really look after it uh, well serviced well maintained and it has everything that needs to be uh, done to make it a very very capable touring car man we love our car we love our Giro NX uh, as you can tell it's in good condition that's it from me I will say goodbye and I will say Let's bounce and keep an eye out for the next mods that we're going to put on this. Peace. Guys.